Hi, I'm Pixie, and welcome to Pixie's Projects. Today, we're going to work on a page from Hannah Carlson's Grains of Gold book, and we're deciding to add a background to it first, which is something I don't normally do. I normally color the image completely and then decide whether or not I need a background and get stuck there for a couple of days. So I thought I would start with the background first and see what came out of that. It was an interesting experiment. I'm not sure if I'll do it again, but what I'm doing is using Karen Dosh Neo Colors to lay down a background that's just sort of a mix of colors. So I'm using violet, cobalt blue, ultramarine, turquoise blue and purple, and the colors I'm using should be on the screen. And I'm just adding swatches of color all around the image, and I'm making sure to overlap each color so that when I go back and in to um, blend them together it'll be a little bit easier because the colors will be already starting to blend. I'm going to let you watch the video for a little while and listen to some music and I'll be back to talk about the next step when we get to it.
So I'm popping back in now to say a couple words about this section of the video. Um, let's see. I spent a couple of days looking at the background and I thought it was way too bright and still not knowing what I'm doing with the face or the helmet or hair or anything. I don't like how bright it is. Um, I want it to be something a little more muted. Not necessarily muted with these colors, I don't think you could, but it was too bright. So I'm going back in with the white Neo colors. I'm covering the entire background once again with just the white. Once I'm done coloring in the background with the white, I'll go back over it with the brush and get it blended in. I'm going to also, at some point during this course of the portion of the video, use a paper towel once in a while just to blot color off of it. So I left all of this in the video instead of starting with this just to show you that you can make a mistake and you can go back in and you can try to figure out a way to fix it or even not a mistake just not particularly care for what you did so much you can go back you can do some more things also in this section of the video i finally remembered to put the washi tape on the side of the book to protect the other page so that's a little trick you can do um i take it i put it on my pants a couple of times pull it on and off to get it unsticky or less sticky then I put it on the side of the book. It protects it from when I come up to the edge of the, the spine. It protects the other page from getting too much color on it or too much water or just, you know, dirt from doing this work. So I'll let you watch this part of the video again with the music and you can see that it does indeed mute the colors and it may be more pleasing to my eye, maybe not to you. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. We'll figure it out together.
Now that the background's done, we're going to get into the actual coloring of the project. I'm using Arteza pencils for the entire page. Um, starting off with the dark colors first. I like to do that most of the time. Sometimes I will go in with the light colors first, but in this instance we are going in dark. So I'm starting with the 118 dark chocolate and just getting in my shadows. I do want to talk about a few things while you watch. Just to let you know, this is like the first real video I've done with editing and words and voiceovers and music and multiple video clips because I obviously am not going to color this in one sitting. There's all told about five hours of video and I'll break it into little sections. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Like this is at two times speed because I don't know exactly how slow you want this to be and I'm a very slow colorist. Anyway, each video will get slightly better is the hope. Like as you can see if you watch from the beginning of this video to the end, the camera angle has changed slightly and it will change much more over the course of this series because I've started to realize it's not close enough to see the details of what I'm doing so I'm starting to move in more. I'm just basically figuring out all this equipment and all this software so if you can bear with me we might get some good videos eventually. Right now it's just a very bare bones video. But anyway, after I go in with the dark chocolate, the numbers and the colors should be on screen. I'll go in with burnt umber and go slightly over the dark chocolate and blend out a little bit. Then I'll go with raw umber and then the caramel, the yellow ochre, and then the ivory at the very top. Um, kind of thinking of this as lit from the top. I'm not really great at all that stuff. I just kind of make an idea in my head and go with it from there. So if you want to just watch and see where it winds up, I'll let you go ahead and do that. 